Okay, so a few things today. Let me see. This is fun. Sun glare. I don't think that's going to work. Anyway, so a few things today. Let's see. Um, oh, number one, the Hickam Craft Fair has not run in the last two years, and they're having it on November 5th. And um, I will be there with a tent, with my artwork, with some door hangers, with some fun stuff. I'll show you next week all the things I'm going to bring. So um, start your Christmas shopping and gift giving with some art. Um, the second thing, you know, today was like, yeah, I couldn't get myself together to go to the gym and I was like I don't want to go but I have to go so I was like all right let's it's October I haven't worn any of my Halloween stuff yet because I don't do paint parties anymore well I do some you know and uh so I was like all right let's put this on and it did make me feel good and I went to the gym and I did my whole workout and I'm proud I feel good today um and I'm gonna go help a friend today the third thing is while I was in there, I was listening to Gold Mines podcast with Kevin Hart and he was with Sarah Silverman. And as a backstory, like during COVID, I listened to all, all comedy, all stand up, all comedy shows, all comedians, all podcasts of it, like just totally immersed myself in it. And it was so good much Madison so much good Madison for my soul so now I just do it all the time and she says she said something in there that triggered something in me about artwork so I have and how artwork affects people and I have my my signature octopus painting um, it's near and dear to my heart because it's the first painting I did after taking a hiatus for like having children and moving around um, I will never sell the original it is my favorite it is like extremely meaningful at least right now um, and every time I look at it I feel the same way um, although I do have this other painting and it's not mine but I do love it and it's a vintage Waikiki painting of like back in the day um, and when I look at it, it makes me feel good inside, like the bright pastel colors and like how it's not overbuilt like it is today. And now when I look at it, sometimes I feel sad because it is overbuilt. And I long for those days because we got a taste of it during COVID, during shutdown. Like I felt like, you know, I mean, it's bad for the state because it relies so much on tourism and they weren't bringing in that money. However, you know, there's two things to learn from that. You know, maybe we should be more self-sufficient. I mean, we're smaller than Australia, but like, hello, we can act like Australia. We can act like a big island and be self-providing instead of having all this stuff sent to us from the mainland. The second thing was that, you know, it was, it was nice. It, like we went down for dinner one night for my birthday to Duke's as a family. We had masks on on the sidewalk. We're walking down and we only had, this was 2020, 2020, June of 2020. We passed by like five to seven people. That was it. It wasn't crowded. The beaches were beautiful. The island rebirthed itself. Um, turtles were having babies. Uh, Hanama Bay rebirthed itself and it probably should be closed most of the time and only open to tourists twice a week instead of closed twice a week um, in order to preserve this treasure. Um, yeah, like sharks came back and you know, that's a double-edged sword, but yeah, they came back. They're all part of the, the environment. Um, all, you know, all these like pup seals were being born and it was amazing. And it was amazing to like have a sense of place for ourselves and instead of sharing our place 
with like all these tourists that are like bus loaded and planed in like you know it's, it can be a lot um so like all you people out there that think oh you live in hawaii you must like go to waikiki all the I'm like no mm -mm. it's a tourist trap everything's more expensive down there you go down there once in a while a few times a year for events or for you know friends birthdays or if you know friends come to visit you go down there but like that's not like oh today let's go hang out. you know like not really um so anyway my my so when i look at that painting now it's different perspective different feelings but i also still feel the original feelings and relationship with that painting that i did when i when i first painted it so um, yeah, so paintings have all these different, you know, I mean, to have one that you really like to connect with or that is meaningful or something can have this whole rainbow of feelings and uh, experiences and associations with it because of your own experiences and your own feelings and what's going on in your life at the time or what's go what will be going on in your life later and stuff. So... I just wanted to share that and also mark your calendar November 5th Hickam Air Force Base Arts and Crafts Fair I will be there um, 9 to 3 there'll be food there other artists other crafters doing all kinds of stuff and I look forward to seeing you Shaka have a great day